Hey guys, this is Demetrius Lox, and in this video I'm gonna give you some tips about the Brazilian swing feel and how to apply it to the drum set. Well, um, first of all, I'd like to point out that all examples that I'm going to show you here will be based on maracatu. Maracatu is a remarkable Brazilian rhythm, okay? Well, uh, let's go to the tips. The first tip is the Brazilian rhythms are not quantized. Okay, it's not quantized because when you play Brazilian rhythms, you are playing around the click. You know, it's not on the head of the tempo all the time. You know, it's not on the grid. Perfect. It's quantized, but it's not quantized in the same time. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, the second tip is don't put the Brazilian rhythms on the grid if you are in a recording session, particularly. Okay. If you are in a recording session, recording Brazilian rhythms, man, don't put the drum tracks on the grid because it will sound terrible, you know, because it needs swing, okay? The third tip is, what is it? What is the swing, the Brazilian swing feel? It's a sort of rubato, you know rubato? Sometimes you play fast and sometimes you slow down in the, in, in the same pattern, in the same plane, during the plane, okay? I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to play now a maracatu pattern for a snare drum. Take a look. There's no swing here, okay? Now I'm gonna play the same pattern, but I'm going to add the Brazilian swing feel. Try to feel it. Believe me or not, it was the same pattern, okay? Again, like a rudiment, <laughs> okay, totally straight on the grid, and I'm going to add the swing in the second example again. No, 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, it needs swing, okay? The Brazilian rhythms needs swing, and it's a sort of rule battle. But I think another tip is, the fourth tip, oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, the fourth tip, I think, um, is try to find out a professor, a drum teacher, okay? Because he will show you much better um, how to manage, you know, the movements of the hand, you know, and how to get the swing, you know, how to do this, because the swing cannot be written, okay? The swing field, the Brazilian swing field cannot be written. It's not a eight note triplet, for example, okay? It's not a triplet, you know, it's a rubato, you know, it's a kind of lazy note, you know, that's what I call lazy note, you know, and it's a, this is exactly what it is. Lazy, you know, because sometimes you are playing fast and sometimes you are slowing down, you know, for example. You know, this kind of, this kind of thing, this kind of feeling, you know, you have to internalize it, perfect. Now I'm going to add, and it's really tough, I'm going to add the marca tu clave on my, um, my call bell here using my left hand, my, my, my left foot. And I'm gonna try to play, I'm gonna try to keep the swing here on my hands, okay? On the snare drum. Uh, let's uh, check it out. Perfect. Did you hear <laughs> the swing? Did you feel it? Well, uh, well, I think uh, it's uh, too complex, you know, but in the same time, practicing, you will get the idea. Okay, you will get the idea, certainly. Because uh, practice is the main, the main, uh, 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 the main 
goal, the main subject, you know, when you are trying to internalize something, you know, and um, a rhythm or, you know, and, uh, or a swing, you know, or this swing, you know, better saying. And uh, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, well, there's, there's so many tips that I can give you now, but uh, particularly due to the running time here, uh, I think to, I will do more videos, you know, about this. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed, okay? Stick around for the next videos and try to go to my YouTube channel. And um, there's a lot of videos um, like this uh, there. And you can subscribe there. And, uh, well, uh, thank you so much for watching. And um, see you next time. Stick around, man.